Hey everybody, Joe here with Canada at the Movies. This time I'll be talking about the movie Luther, The Fallen Son. Now, this movie, I, I can just say from the very beginning that I do highly, highly, highly recommend it. And I mean that with all the highlies. This movie, I watched it on Netflix. Now I'm not sure if it's on anything else. I watched it on Netflix. Let me give it to you like this. Luther is uh, one of the best things I've seen so far this year in 2023. Um, and um, if you want to see a one, it's kind of like a whodunit detective, uh, cops, action, thriller elements. You got it all. Um, it kind of takes you on a journey emotionally as well. Um, and I don't know if anyone on here has actually seen Luther, the actual show. Um, before you watch this movie, now I don't, I don't think that you have to, because it, it, certain things aren't fully explained though. So if you want to really understand Luther the movie, I would say go back and watch Luther the television series, um, which I also believe you can catch on Netflix. And But this movie was so great. Um, I have to give it that straight up, um, right off the jump. Um, I do recommend it. Now it is starring two amazing actors amazing actors that have you know really stood the test of time and I highly respect these two individuals uh, Idris Elba and Andy Serkis those two on the screen together when they're on the screen together at the same time it is a spectacle it is something to see um, the tension between the two um, is palpable, okay? Um, and I, uh, it was, there were some things in there that kind of made me feel kind of sensitive. I'm not going to lie. Um, like I said, I do recommend it, but I'm not going to recommend it for people who, um, would be uncomfortable seeing some scenes that are gruesome. Yeah, gruesome is the word because they don't shy away from that. Um, there's also some elements of trying to save your loved ones um, that was kind of sensitive as well. Um, also, you'll find that, of course, you know, some of the things that happened in there, they weren't necessarily lies, but you got to understand Luther's, This, which is the reason why I was saying you got to go back and watch the, the uh, different seasons of Luther because you'll understand why he's in the position that he's in. Um, so, um, and why he wasn't able to do things in the way that he would have normally done them. Wink. Okay. But I can't give you spoilers because I really want you all to go watch this movie. Like, really, really, really want you all to go watch this movie. Um, and when you do, go down in the comments. I want you to tell me everything that you thought because I want to talk about this one. Um, and specifically, Andy Serkis' betrayal uh, of his character. Um... I can give you this, he played the villain, but that's all I'm going to give you. He was too good at it. He was way too good at it. Um, and that's just, that just goes to show you the genius of his acting. Um, that man is a thespian, so hey. Um, anyway, for a score, I'll have to give Luther an A double plus. Truly really enjoyed it. I'm going to go back and rewatch it. Um, not because I feel like I missed anything, just for my, uh, just so I can go back and enjoy it. So, 
uh, let me know what you all thought down in the comments below. Please, please, please. Okay. Um, and uh, please click that like, share, and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell. I've been Joe for Canada at the Movies. Y'all take care and have a fantastic day. Peace.